On June 30th, 2014, Epic Records released the debut single of Megan Trainer. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. The song was co-written by Trainer. According to her, the lyrics were intended to be about self-acceptance of body type. And a lot of folks agree. The music video was a viral success. Millions of people drew the same conclusion that all about that bass is a universal high-minded mantra of body acceptance. However, some people say baloney. The song is anything but a high-minded mantra. Is this worth caring about? Yes, it is. All about that bass is attempting something that most pop songs never do. Activism. A lot of pop songs are vapid and don't try to advocate for anything whatsoever, but this song does. So let's take some time to see what's going on here and, shall we say, check for leaks. Now, if we were to make a list of credentials that are necessary for a song like this, what would they be? Ideally, the song ought to be unifying, benevolent, indifferent to body size across the board. The lyrics ought to be asexual and drive the message home that it doesn't matter if you're sexy or not. It obviously should have universal appeal. And of course, it should be impartial to anyone else's opinion other than the individual. If this is the song that so many people think it is, this checklist should be very easy to live up to. But before we get to the song, let's first check out the title. Now, it's not exactly official what bass is slang for. Some people think it's an artful way of referring to fat people, if you were to cite their comedic association with tubas. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! Others believe All About That Bass No Treble refers to the lower and upper body, seeing as bass clefts are located at the bottom of sheet music while treble is located at the top. The assumption here is that she's all about sex, just not oral sex. But the most popular and least clever interpretation is that bass is a euphemism for ass which might as well be the official meaning. After all, Megan Trainor herself claimed bass to mean booty. And we're off to a bad start. Why is an anthem of body acceptance endorsing big butts? Why is it advocating anybody's butt? W wouldn't that fly in the face of accepting the body you have unconditionally? We'll get back to this later. Before we get too hung up on the title, let's listen to the song itself and inspect the lyrics with our trusty checklist. Ready and go. Yeah, it's pretty clear. I ain't no size two. Stop, we just lost the asexual credential. Five out of six isn't bad though, carry on. And we just lost another credential, being impartial to other people's opinions. That's two separate lyrics now that contradict what the song is supposed to be about. Being comfortable with your body no matter what anyone else thinks. Evidently, the singer's approval of her own body comes from having something that boys chase after. Admittedly, a fat ass, which she is supposed to twerk. Not the best message to send, quite frankly, and seeing as she's championing big butts, that would lose the song yet another credential, indifference to body size. Okay, we are not getting off to a good start here. But there are more lyrics to listen to, so we'll just give the song the benefit of the doubt and assume that it gets much better from here. I see the magazine working at Photoshop. We know that shit ain't real. Come on now, make it stop. If you got beauty, beauty, just raise Now there's a lyric that's actually in sync with the song's premise. Even though it kind of borders on pandering, it's still a very positive thing to say. But it's important that we keep this lyric within its proper context. Meaning, who is the singer saying this to? Everybody? Well, we know that the song isn't for men who struggle with body image, which really isn't all that bad. It's very likely that a lot more women are struggling with body acceptance than men. So to be kind, we'll still give this song its universal credential, just as long as she's at least speaking to all women. Needless to say, this ratifying of big butts and quest for male approval prevents this song from being progressive. But as long as the chorus doesn't flat out alienate thin women by, oh, I don't know, arguing that most men would rather sleep with fat women and any man who does not might as well piss off. This song does not have universal appeal. 
and at this point, the unifying credential ought to go with it. But again, again, in the interest of being kind to the song, at least it doesn't seem like it is trying to divide women. Yes, it does it anyway, but it seems more like a dumb accident rather than intentional malice. Now, if the song appeared to throw skinny girls under the bus intentionally, well, that would be a different story. That would be bad. That would, uh, wait, wait a minute. We never figured out what treble means. We know that bass means booty, but what does no treble represent? Well, Megan Trainer was the one who drew booty from bass. It was actually her producer who helped her write the song that figured treble to mean... Oh, skinny bitches. I'm all about that booty, no skinny bitches. I'm bringing booty back. Go ahead. Well, that rips it. There goes Unity. And as far as Benevolence is concerned, it doesn't make anything better that the music video embodies these lyrics with a stick figure silicone doll who is photoshopped to look plump, given the hand, given the butt, and literally shoved around by a butt. A big red X for Benevolence, and this song has none of the credentials it needs to be this positive, universal anthem that so many people think it is. The second verse does try to make up for some of this. Go ahead. But then it's right back to the chorus that swears fat girls are more desirable than skinny girls. Taking the title, the lyrics, the music video, and the very words of the song's writers into consideration, all about that bass blatantly does not represent all women. It only sticks up for fat women, albeit they have been underrepresented for a long time in the beauty industry. But that's no excuse to respond with a spiteful tune that tries to turn the tables instead of treating everyone equally. Trainer has responded to scrutiny by saying she didn't work this hard to hate on skinny people, but that's kind of an empty statement to make. The folks at NASA didn't work as hard as they did to get the Apollo 13 into outer space just so its liquid oxygen tank could explode halfway to the moon. And this guy probably didn't work as hard as he did building his own trailer from scratch just so he could get it stuck on the way out of the garage. Think he's stuck? But nonetheless, that's what happened. <laughs> In this case, an artist wanted to peddle a song about self-esteem because she struggled with self-esteem herself, consequently because of her size. But instead of being the bigger man, or the bigger woman, N never mind. The point is, she did it without a filter, and in the process of singing what she really felt, wound up spilling a lot of animosity onto the page. Which really isn't all that surprising when you take into consideration that she was only 20 years old when she wrote the song in 45 minutes and admits to not know a lot of stuff. Surely this explains why All About That Bass's execution was not well thought out. And it turns out, a lot of women out there have been waiting for a pop song that resents skinny women. Which is fine. Okay, it's not fine. It's still petty and arrogant and childish, and there's a good chance that a lot of young impressionable girls will pick up a bad message and run with it, but the real problem here is that a lot of people don't even realize what's wrong. A lot of people have been apparently bamboozled by the playful bubblegumness and are under the impression that the song is innocent and contains no spite. Imagine a song that chanted, I'm all about those guns, no welfare, featured in a music video where a liberal is pushed around by conservatives and called a bitch. Who would be fooled if the songwriter insisted that the song sticks up for everyone who follows politics, that it's universal and represents everyone? That would be rather two-faced, wouldn't it? Well, it's the same dilemma with All About That Bass. You can't have your cake and eat it too. So while the song gives a voice to a crowd that has been underrepresented in our culture and in our beauty industry, unfortunately it does it at the expense of others and argues that they're just as deserving of sexual objectification as anybody else. In short, All About That Bass inadvertently moves us one step forward and two steps back. My producer and I wanted to write a fun song for the world and we thought why not do a song about loving yourself and loving your body because I don't think girls love themselves as much as they really should. I think girls will really relate to it. This is a fun, playful song about loving yourself, loving your body, loving all your insecurities and having fun with it. The women are just constantly patting themselves on the back and no one corrects them because they want to fuck them. <laughs> That's what it is.
So there's just this tornado of like misinformation. Unbelievable.